Hi guys, today I've got a banquet uh, running down here at my earth lodge. I'm going to have 16 people turning up and they're going to have a nice day but one of the things they're going to do is they're going to sit down and have a what I would like to think is going to be an amazing banquet. Um, lots of things that have come in from the forest like they're going to be in deer, they're going to be in the black breeze, wild mushroom, lots of different things but there's something quite special also going to be going on and to introduce that to you properly I need to introduce my friend Dan here because he's going to be cooking cooking bread using a Dutch oven and um, well, bread has history it goes back a long long way um, but achieving it you know let's just separate everything else we're talking bread making that rise and managing the heat all that sort of stuff but let's get Dan here to talk about that a little bit more Dan how's it going it's come going on well. over mate it's going well yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's going well we've just this started. is Dan right and um, his t-shirt yeah <laughs> well Dan's got a history he's got um he's got proper blood history Roman Egyptian yeah. Um, yeah, granddad that cooked around the fire, parents, yeah. you know, he's no stranger to fire management. If I tried to cook bread, I'm going to tell you, well, I need a master class in it. And you pretty much bring in a master class, aren't you? Well, we, we do what we do, but I'm just um, measuring out the ingredients now and uh, you know, put it together. So we'll have a quick look and see what he's got going on. Oh, What we've got then, Dan? Well, what we've got, we've got... Um, Strong white flour. Right. Um, measure everything in a cup. Right. Okay. Simple as pop, pop, pop. I weigh everything out identically. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. And then I will mix them. Um, what are you bit. mixing into it? What's going on? We're going to add uh, yeast. Mm. Obviously, all there is is a little pinch of sugar for the yeast and salt and warm water, and that's all it is. Right. Mixing it all together, Dan. Yeah, just mixing it slowly, slowly. Yeah. It's a bit of an art to bread making, isn't it? Wow, it's. But it's not rocket science. I'll put a bit more in there. So you've mixed them all up, Dan. Oh, I've mixed, yeah. Got one more to go. I'm going to cover these up. They ain't very big. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. Let nature do its That's going to get bigger. Is it going to double or what? More or less, yeah. Well. Hopefully with the air temperature and what have you. That helps. Oh, definitely. It maintains a nice constant temperature. So he's had an hour and a half. Let's see how they're rising, shall we? How's it going, Dan? Good, good. We're just an hour and a half in. Uh, we're just going to have a little peaky poo. Um, make sure we've got no disasters. You put that skin on there to keep them warm. Yeah, and keep the wind and. That all has there. a relevance, does it? Yeah. Now it's starting to rise nicely. That's doubling nice, covering yeah. Covering back up again. You just want to keep that under there, that, that temperature and. and air as stable as possible right um, I mean obviously you'd be doing this in your kitchen at home but we're in the bush <laughs> what are you doing now then Dan well what we're doing we're three and a half hours in um, the bread's well on its way and I'm preheating the Dutch ovens um, and how long do you preheat them for mate it all depends on weather conditions um, what wood you've got 15 minutes 10 15 minutes yeah you know really you what you want to be doing is putting your hand on there and anything more than five seconds it's not hot obviously touching the sides of the Dutch oven yeah it's a bit hot <coughs> you love this Petromax gear don't I you do, mate. I do yeah. it works really well pop that in there so you've got a little tray in the bottom yeah. of that. Nice. Yep, yeah. trivet. Oh, this is going to be hard one, mate. Yeah. Okay. 
that's hot. You're gonna leave it in there, right? In that. Yeah, in there like that. I've dusted it. Right. And then that just stops it from burning. A lot of hot stuff going on here, Dan. Yeah, a lot of hot stuff. That's that one, man. How you doing, Dan? I'm all right. I'm all, we're about to... Uh, we're going to have a look out. in there. Yeah. What was the cooking time, mate? It's about... Uh, just over 35 minutes. 35 minutes? 35 minutes. Right. Yeah. Well, what we're doing... Yeah. Take him out. I'm going to have to build that fire back up again. Yeah. Obviously. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's have a look, see what we got. Look at that. Not too bad, is it? No, that is not. Yeah. Oh, can you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Dan. Cook, cooking bread. In the woods. In the woods. You don't get better. Oh, amazing, though. Amazing. Smell that one. Look at that. I'll give it a funky haircut too. So that was Dan Fisher. Cooking bread for me on my banquets <laughs> in the wild. Cheers, Dan. No problems, mate. No problems. Unrefined shapes are chaotic. So what I'm doing is I'm looking around, and you see that point there, that's flat, that can have an arrangement with that stone, so we can actually break through.